For example, we have our dog parks that are closed right now. So, you know, that's something probably we'll look to open right away. It does, it, it, the reason it closes, it does tend to draw a crowd of about 20 or 30 dog owners, particularly early in the mornings. So I think we can probably loosen that up a little bit. Maybe the boat, la- uh, boat ramp over by Yulu, um, this, the city one, we can talk about that. Uh, the town park, I, I think, is going to stay closed for, for a significant amount of time simply because, you know, it's designed to, about bringing a lot of people in close to the water, and that's just something we want to discourage right now. It's also designed to kick me out when I try and bring three beers in. <laughs> yeah, and even, yeah I, all they do is get reports and text messages about your problems all summer long. <laughs> and welcome to my world. <laughs> so let me... Let me... So uh, on Sunday, I drove by uh, Squance Pond State Park uh, with the roadblocks in front of the entrance and whatnot. There were still 15 cars in there. Yeah. So some people uh, just aren't that, paying attention. It's, this, you know what? Uh, I just said in the paper today, we can't run around and chase people all over the I place. Know. I mean, people just got to take some personal responsibility here. What about the, the, the lake? You know, I mean, that's quickly going to become the biggest recreational question in our area. Uh, I, I know you mentioned boat launches are closed and then you might open this one or that one, but what discussions have you had about Candlewood Lake uh, with local authorities? Yeah, we've been talking to Toll Brothers about draining the lake and building condos. Here we go. Whoa, so okay. Gonna... <laughs> Didn't see that coming. <laughs> you should know. Uh, here come the phone call. You should uh, know. Just kidding. Okay. Just kidding. Um, I, I don't think the lake will be, I think you'll be able to bow and do all that stuff. This Connecticut, uh, the Candlewood Lake Authority will do their bit in terms of keeping the, you know, tying off boats, things like that probably won't be allowed. We are not doing the fireworks this year. I mean, again, because it's draws five or six thousand people to the town park so those are the kinds of things that we just can't do but i, I think regular boating will be fine um and you know we kind of encourage it or people are just going to go bonkers yeah well that that's good i mean if people can get out in the open air and get on the water and it, right. and you know not tie up and all that stuff, yeah the big good. thing are the flotillas when you have seven boats all connected and they're going back and forth they got a dance party going on they're drinking beers you're grinding on somebody right, you're grinding on somebody it's you can't be you can't be doing stop it <laughs> Right, Lou and I pull up in the I ninety five party boat, and uh, yeah, it will be on the lake from eleven to one p.m. Come and join us, and um, throw a t shirts, and we won't be able to do that. We got the zinc oxide on our nose, cut yeah. off, yeah. Uh, <laughs> cut off sleeves. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> That's on my cat. All right.